Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. I am Baron D. Hall. Uh, with this video, we are going to talk about a crazy fan theory regarding the plot and how the game started with the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles arcade game. And so before we get going, make sure you hit the subscribe button, check out some of my other videos, and uh, here we go. We're going we're gonna to get right to it. One of the things with, this, with games like this, you know, there wasn't a whole lot of plot going on. You know, with a Mario game, you got Bowser kidnapping Princess Peach, then you got to jump through the castles and try to save her. With this game, you know, they kidnap uh, April O'Neil at the very beginning, and then you're jumping through, and then you got to save Splinter, defeat the bad guys. But well, what started the whole thing in the first place? Well, we've got a fire happening in what looks like an apartment complex. So... Let's dig into that just a little bit more. But first, we're going to talk about the, the intro screen. With the game, as it's kind of loading up, you know, it shows you the, the theme song and they're kind of jumping around coming out of the sewer. Uh, but one of the screens that pops up is this one. Winners don't do drugs. Okay, so that's the first little bit of evidence here with this fan theory. So what does that mean? Well, winners don't use drugs. Obviously, there was an anti-drug campaign going on, say no to drugs. Um, in the uh, late 80s, early 90s, you know, they had uh, Officer Friendly coming to your school, uh, Gruff the Crime Dog, you know, coming around telling you not to do drugs and stuff. So, um, obviously, there's a little bit of an angle right there that they're trying to reach with this game. So, what else is going on? Okay, so now let's, let's get through the, the very first level here. So, we're jumping through. we got this apartment complex. There's a fire going on. But what started the fire? What started this whole game? All right, let's go through. We're going to fast forward to the first level, and then we're going to get inside the actual apartment here on the roof. And there we see April, but stop right there, okay? What the heck is that right there on the table? You see it? Okay, well, probably nothing at first glance. Maybe a donut or something, but that glassy-looking object right there, what in the world is that? We got, like, an Erlenmeyer flask or a volumetric flask. Hmm. Well, this isn't Baxter Stockman's apartment complex. He's down in the sewer, you know, in some kind of robot thing that craps out mousers trying to fight the, the Ninja Turtles, so it's probably not his place. If you dig a little deeper, though, maybe you got a little donut right here and you got a lighter, maybe here on the other corner of this table. That means that the only other thing that this could be is drug paraphernalia. So, we got somebody in here, you know, he's, he's doing some bad stuff in this apartment complex, and that's probably what started this whole game. You know, he got carried away, he set the whole daggone building on fire, you know? And so, that leads us to the next question. Who started it? Who did it? Well, it's probably not Rocksteady. He's coming up in some kind of, you know, mole freaking drill crap that's going through the floor and shows up later. If it were him, he'd probably already be there. Is it April O'Neil herself? I don't know. Maybe she is. Maybe she is the villain all along. She's starting some kind of apartment fire. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are coming in to rescue her just because they're her friends. Maybe Shredder's the good guy. He's trying to take her away just to maybe throw her in jail or something. Okay, that's probably not likely. But maybe somebody else is starting the fire in there. Maybe Bebop. Maybe he was up there in that apartment, you know, hanging out. April O'Neil hears, hears about it, and she's wanting to come in and record it, maybe do a little news show about how some crazy warthog dude is starting fires doing drugs up in there, and then she gets caught and trapped. Well, Bebop takes off. He tells his buddy Rocksteady, hey, Rocksteady, go up in there, you know, kidnap April O'Neil. I'm too doped out to do anything about it right now, brah, so you take care of it. So then Rocksteady gets his crazy drill, goes up in there, does something with April O'Neil, Shredder comes, because freaking Bebop and Rocksteady are worthless and can't do anything. So Shredder takes her away, and then that starts the whole game. You know, it's all a cover-up. The whole game is a cover-up for somebody's drug use. The evidence is clear-cut, it's right there. Winners don't use drugs. The creators of this game wanted you to know that doing drugs is gonna lead to an apartment fire, bad things, Shredder's gonna come, he's gonna take you. There is nothing good to happen from drugs, young kids, all right? So, this is the evidence right here. Tell me what you think. Kind of crazy, but hey, a lot of it makes sense. What else would have caused that fire? They haven't really released any other info. That, to me, is the only plausible explanation. So. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Check out some of the other videos. And thanks so much for watching. Appreciate it. 